the Paddy Power Hotel Chase is next. Uh, two and a half mile maiden chase. Court block at the top for John Morgan. Dave's Chance, David Healy. El Centro rated Rene Gerard. Indian Adam Old to go between Martin Lidham. Crogging Detail, James Shea. Marathon Mandy, Padre Hogan. Pot of Cash, Craig Beckwith. The Phoenix, Joshua Sutherland. Thunder Rosa, Matt Cooper. And Victorian Lady for Jim Murray. Called in and away. Short run to the first. They've all got over. Okay. And it looks like we might have a John Morgan front runner in this one. Certainly livens the races up when we have got one of those. A second. Towards the second. El Centro rated is in second. As they get to this second, which is the first of the ditches. And they're all safely over it. With Courtbrook in the lead. Look, he's got a firm grip on him. He doesn't want to let him get too far clear, it would seem. El Centro rated is a close up second as they get to the third. And they chopped that really well. Took a length out of the field. Phoenix is to the fore as well for Joshua Sutherland. Look at those black and red hoops. Wardest on the track is the go between with pot of cash on that one's inside. The grey is Victorian Lady for Jim Murray. That one's close up as well. And James Shay's croggy in detail. Adam Holt's Indian on the route. And the maroon colours are similar to the ones that Doug used to have all those years ago. Pot of cash is after that one, and then the purple jacket of Dave's Chance as they get over number four. Mistake there by the go between. Draw that one. Shuffle back towards the rear. And the back marker at the moment is Marafol Mandy as they get over the fifth. And court block continues to lead. On the Phoenix over it in second. In El Centro rated, Victorian Lady is fourth. Croggy in detail on the inside, the go-between recall from that mistake on the outside as they pass the winning post, pass the stand, they've got a circuit to go. And Courtbrook is four lengths clear of the Phoenix and El Centro rated. And John Morgan and Vinnie Gerard certainly shaken up the National Hunt standing so far this season. I've managed to finish in the top five numerically for the last three or four seasons I think I even managed fourth last year but those two have both gone past me this season already with a good start so I think it'll be a struggle for me to keep up there with them as they get over the next and Court Brook he's in front as somebody said in the forums the other day if John Morgan took this game seriously he'd win it every year I think there's a fall of it Dave's chance has gone and Court Brook is clear the Phoenix is second El Centro rated is third Indian fourth, then pot of cash and the go between with Crocking Detail and Victorian Lady and Thunder Rosa and finally Marafong Mandy. Dave's chance the only one out of the race so far. That as they race down towards the final mile, it's Courtbrook in the lead. El Centro rated in the Phoenix. They get over the tenth, which they're all safely over. Courtbrook is the leader. Well, Centro rated as they get over the 11th. Hell Centro rated jumped into the lead there. The first time Courtbrook surrendered the lead. The Phoenix is travelling ominously well in third. Then Pot of Cash on the outside is fourth. Crogging Detail is after that one. That one's been driven up to take closer orders. They go that ditch of is a four there. Hell Centro rated has gone when contesting the lead. And that's shook the race up a little bit. As Courtbrook has been left in front. And the Phoenix and Crogging Detail go between is now making a forward move. Suddenly there's a lot of shuffling of position going on. Indian is getting a dream run up the inside as well. You've got to wonder whether that jockey's just giving the Phoenix a bit of a breather. But Courtbrook kicks on again. We saw in the last race that if you slip the field from the front, you can get a nice easy win really. And it looks like Courtbrook's going to try and do that. Courtbrook in front. The go between is in second. Then Indian and Crogging Detail. Then... On the outside, Victorian ladies getting going as well. They're racing down to the third last, and Courtbrook got over it. Well, the go-between runs straight through it, and that's put paid to his chance. Victorian lady is now the main challenger in second, but Courtbrook is well clear. Two good jumps should seal it. Over it he goes. Courtbrook in the lead from Victorian lady second. Pot of cash. He's running on. Then Crogging detail over the final fence, and Courtbrook lands in the lead. He's got half a furlong to go. He's just going to keep going, basically. Victorian lady is closing, but not anywhere near quick enough. And Courtbrook 
takes it comfortably from Victorian Lady Second, then Potter Cash Cregeen detail the Phoenix Big Disappointment, then the go between running on and all the way back to Thunder Rosa. It was the last to finish, and those light blue silks of John Morgan are back with a bang this year. It's the first time he's had a big stable for a long time, and I think he could well be a force to be reckoned with. Court Brock takes it for John Morgan. Victorian Lady Second, Jim Murray. Pot of cash, Craig Beckwith was third. And cars disappeared pretty quick there. James Shea was fourth, I think, with Croggy in detail. And the Phoenix for Joshua Sutherland was back in fifth. 